it's easier than ever to create high dynamic range raw images within Lightroom CC. Prior to this release, merging multiple exposures of the same scene into a single file had to be done in Photoshop as a pixel-based document. But now Lightroom CC is able to merge the raw image data from multiple source files so that the resulting image contains all of the desired shadow, mid-tone, and highlight information with all of the editing flexibility that comes with RAW. I'll go ahead and select these three exposures and then choose Photo, Photo Merge, and HDR. You could also use the keyboard shortcut Control H. Lightroom calculates a preview of the file and displays several options on the right. The preview window can be expanded However, for performance reasons, the actual preview image has a maximum of 2048 pixels across the long edge on retina displays and a maximum of 10024 on non-retina. The Auto Align option is on by default and will automatically align multiple exposures that were captured, for example, without a tripod. This feature also crops any uneven edges after aligning the images. The Auto Tone option enhances the resulting image based on the dynamic range of the combined exposures. Even if you enable this feature, it's completely non-destructive and can be reset or modified in the develop module just like any other RAW file without any loss of quality. The de-ghost amount helps identify regions of the image that have changed between exposure, like leaves blowing in the wind, or in this case, a person's reflection here in the window and then it makes sure that any area that did change is filled in from a single exposure so that you don't see ghosting or semi-transparency of objects when merging the images. Clicking the different amount options will allow you to choose the amount of deghosting that renders the best result for your image. In order to see any areas that have changed, you might want to choose to show the deghost overlay. On the Mac, you can tap the O key to toggle this on or off, and you can use Shift plus O to toggle through the different colored overlays. As soon as you click Merge, Lightroom will start creating the high dynamic range image as we can see by looking at the progress bar. I want to point out that if you want to start merging additional images, you can because Lightroom is running Photo Merge as a background task. In fact, if you want to select additional images and run the merge using the same settings as before and you don't need to view the dialog box, you can use the keyboard shortcut shift Control h to start merging a second set of images. We can see that the resulting merged high dynamic range file is a DNG file and it was automatically added to my Lightroom catalog. The file name has been appended. Lightroom automatically adds a dash HDR. This makes it very easy to search using the text attribute by just typing in dash HDR. If I right mouse click and choose show in finder, we can also see that this merged image is much larger than each individual exposure. Now that Lightroom has created the merged file, let's tap the D key to move to the develop module to enhance it. The first thing that you need to know is that although some adjustments made to the individual exposures will be applied when merged, not all of them carry over. For example, if you apply changes such as lens profile corrections or black and white conversions, sharpening or vignetting to the individual exposures, then Lightroom will apply that correction to the merged file. But if you make changes to the exposure or contrast sliders on individual exposures, Lightroom will ignore those settings when creating the merged file, since the merge tool is basically expanding the tonal range of the new merged document by other means. Likewise, if you apply any local adjustments to the individual exposures, those adjustments will also be ignored. Because of this, I would suggest that you don't spend a great deal of time making adjustments to each of the individual exposures, but instead merge the exposures and then make the adjustments to the merged image. Let's go ahead and scroll down. I'll choose Lens Corrections. I'm going to Enable Profile Corrections, Remove Chromatic Aberration, and run the Auto Upright mode in order to straighten the building. Then let's move back up to the Basic panel where I want to show you that the exposure slider has a much greater range. In fact, it'll go from negative to positive 10 because of the added data from each exposure. 
When you're working with a standard raw file, you only have the range of negative to positive four stops. So I'm going to take the exposure down a little bit here, and then increase the shadow area, and also increase my white slider. I'd also like to crop the file, so I'll tap the R key, and then making sure that the aspect ratio is unlocked, I'm going to scoot the left side over to crop away that pole. When I tap Return or Enter, Lightroom will crop this image, but if we go back to the Crop tool at any time, you'll notice that it's a non-destructive crop, so I can make changes as needed. If I want to make a local adjustment, I can select the Radial Filter, set the exposure to maybe negative one and a half stops, making sure that it affects the outside of the radial that I draw, I'll click and drag out, creating an off-center vignette that darkens down everywhere outside of the oval that I drew. If we return back to the grid view, we can see that the newly created file is not tied to any of the images that were used to create it. It's an independent image, so making changes to the merged file will not automatically update the source images and vice versa. Finally, here are two important tips when using the new photo merge. Lightroom will ignore any cropping applied to the source image when merging, so that you always get the full frame, or close to the full frame depending on the auto alignment settings, and Lightroom needs access to the original files when creating a photo merge, so your files need to be online and available, those smart previews just won't suffice. So there you have it, an easy new method for creating the highest quality HDR images directly within Lightroom CC.